Are you the type that is struggling with hair loss and you don't even know the difference between hair shedding and hair breakage? This video is for you. You need a solution and you need to know the ways on how to prevent it. Then watch this video to the end. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time seeing this face, I am Alice and you're welcome to the channel. To my channel subscriber, you already know you guys are the best. So guys, in this video, we are going to, we are all going to be learning the difference between hair shedding and hair breakage now there are some people that don't know the difference don't be surprised yes some people don't know the difference so in this video by the end of this video you will know the difference and you will know how to prevent and you know solve the issue of excess hair breakage and excess hair shedding so let us start with hair shedding what is hair shedding just like every other person that experiences growth cycle the hair also has its own hair cycle so hair shedding is a natural process of the hair cycle where the hair falls out after the telogen phase in order to make room for new hair strands to come in so now you know what hair shedding is okay let us talk about hair cycle now the hair has different stages of hair cycle we have the mm. anagen phase is the growth phase then the catagen phase is the transition phase and then we have the telogen phase which is the resting phase and then finally the exogen phase which is the shedding phase where the hair falls out so for more details about the hair cycle i have a video for that and i'm going to drop the link in the description box for you to go and watch it in order for this video to be detailed and focused only and mainly on the difference between hair shedding and hair breakage hair breakage hair breakage is damage related so this one is something that we induce ourselves whether intentionally or unintentionally so this is damage related before i continue please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up subscribe if you're yet to and make sure to turn on your notification bell so whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to get notified and also leave a nice comment in the section below now the causes of hair breakage can be as a result of over manipulation dryness excessive heat styling and low maintenance low proper hair care and handling of the hair while for hair shedding for hair shedding it is a natural thing so there's no issue about that but the only time where there is a problem is when the hair shedding is now excessive so what can cause excessive hair shedding? The things that can cause excessive hair shedding are hormonal changes, stress, or genetics. So now when you experience hair when you experience excessive hair shedding, what do you do? You seek a professional advice, okay? Don't look for Alice. I don't have a solution to that particular problem. Go and seek for professional advice yes <laughs> now the signs of hair breakage one of the signs of hair breakage is split end frizzy hair uneven hair length and the hair falls out very easily while for the hair shedding we have excess hair on your pillow that's when you notice a lot of hair on your pillow your clothes or on the floor now the ones on the floor of course especially when after you take your shower you notice those bulky hairs on the floor those hairs are hair shedding they are shaded hairs and then another thing is you experience uh, you see a lot of hair on your comb or your hairbrush that is a sign of excessive hair shedding and then finally we have the itchy dryness on the scalp and also irritation on the scalp and there are different types of hair shedding the first one i'll talk about is telogen effluvium this occurs as a result of stress and hormonal changes then the other one we have is the anagen effluvium this occurs as a result of chemotherapy and radiation then we have alopecia areata this one occurs due to autoimmune disorder 
and then we have male and female pattern baldness this is as a result of androgenetic alopecia so with all these if you are experiencing any of this particular one all you need is to seek a professional advice before i continue to the prevention and the solution let's talk about the appearance of hair shedding and hair breakage how do you identify it how do you know that this is um hair shedding this is hair breakage now for hair breakage the hair breaks off along the hair shaft so for hair breakage you notice that there's uneven length in the hair strand but for hair shedding you will notice that it is usually the actual length of your hair and it comes out directly from the root of your scalp and then you also notice a white bulb at the tip of the hair strand so anytime you know you see a white bulb at the tip of the hair and then the length of the hair is long then you know that that is actually an a shaded hair while for hair breakage you notice that it's usually uneven and then it's usually split it usually have split ends ways to prevent the hair shedding and hair breakage is to have a proper hair care routine a gentle hair care routine okay be gentle don't be too hard on your hair and then another thing is to have a balanced diet always eat balanced diet and then trim your hair regularly in order to avoid split ends and also make sure you are always in protective hairstyle avoid too much usage of extension and also avoid tight hairstyles and then finally make do with um hair marks and other beneficial hair treatment and this will help you prevent hair breakage why for the hair shedding you need to be um conscious of the yourself how you take care of yourself avoid too much stress and then also seek professional advice when it's not related to stress the average hair for every individual experiences between 50 to 100 hair strands per day so some people that they expect that they don't want to be seeing any hair fall at all like don't be deceiving yourself okay and there's no such thing as stopping hair breakage or hair fall because a hair fall is a natural thing that has to occur and then for the hair breakage it it will definitely happen because sometimes we over manipulate our hair intentionally unintentionally i mean mostly unintentionally while some people intentionally i know people that can you know what they flat iron almost every day so that one it is intentional inducing damage to the hair and then also these are something that we cannot actually stop we can only prevent it and reduce it okay so please have it in mind especially those that are starting their hair care journey you see them panicking when they see hair strands and then when you look at the hair for safe it will be something minimal and then you'll be like okay are you expecting not to see anything at all like you don't want to see any even if they will see one single hair strand safe they will complain <laughs> so please it's part of the journey okay it's part of the it's part of the journey so get used to it now that you know the difference hair shedding is what leave it in the comment section hair shedding is what is natural hair breakage is what damage related yeah you got it right okay so learn to take care of your hair be gentle with your hair and trust me your hair is going to thank you i hope you guys enjoyed those video please if you do enjoy it and you've learned something new right yes we've learned something new i've also learned something new so give the video a big thumbs up if you like it and also comment and yeah leave a nice comment for baby girl to support me and encourage me to do more and yeah subscribe turn on your notification bell so when i post the next video you'll be the first to get notified now it's time to go thank you so much for watching i've been maintaining my steeds but not anymore <gasps> oh my god oh my god <laughs> you guys guess how many weeks this hair is you can see how rough it looks
that is why we have our go-to wig <sighs> so guys i'm gonna see you in my next video for now bye